Today, we are going to learn the basic concepts in organic chemistry. What is the center of organic chemistry? Mechanism. That is very important. All the concepts, whatever we study, it is mainly to predict the mechanism, based on mechanism to predict the product. There are several classifications for organic reactions like SN1, SN2, E1, E2, SNAR, benzene. But I classify the organic reactions into two categories based on the mechanism. The first one, the reactions that involve charges second one reactions that does not involve charges nearly 80 to 85 percent of organic reactions will come under that remaining 15 to 20 percent will be the second category Here, since they are charges, you may know they are plus and minus charges will be there. Or del plus, del minus. That means you cannot find plus or minus, but there is some partial positive character. So this del refers to partial positive and partial negative character. If I say like this, you may be familiar with this. That is nucleophile and electrophile. The reactions that involve nucleophile and electrophile. Second category, you cannot find nucleophile and electrophile. Further, there are three types. First one, pericyclic, the reactions which goes through cyclic transition state and through concerted mechanism like Dill's order, co, 3-3 sigmatrophic rearrangement, all those things comes under that. Second one, radical reaction, radical formation and its addition to double bond or with some other reagent. Third one, single electron transfer mechanism so they call it set set mechanism so all these three accounts for only 15 to 20 percent so the major contribution is from this nearly 80 to 85 percent of organic reactions can be categorized under this if you have a clear idea about nucleophile and electrophile and if you are able to identify them in the molecule then you are good in organic chemistry. First let us go to nucleophile. These nucleophiles they are electron rich species. The meaning of nucleophile is nucleus loving. You may know nucleus it is proton which has positive charge so this loves positive charge it is possible only if this nucleophile has negative charge that's why generally we write nucleophile like this there is minus charge or more electron density so this prefers positive charge which is present in nucleus Now, I am going to categorize the nucleophile into three categories. The first one, the species which has negative charge. The 
that is the first one if there is minus on any species then you can say that is that can act as nucleophile for example c minus n minus o minus halogen minus all these things can act as nucleophile since the valency of carbon is 4 I write like this remaining 3 are there since the valency of nitrogen is 3 this is the first category species which has negative charge on a particular atom the second category it is lone pair of electron organic chemistry there is lone pair of electron on nitrogen so you can see one lone pair of electron in oxygen there are two lone pairs of electron and halogens there are three lone pairs of electron so this is the second one the atom which has lone pair of electron carbon doesn't have lone pair so we get nitrogen oxygen halogen addition to that if you go for the next period you can find sulfur phosphorus goes like that but the most common thing is nitrogen oxygen halogen the third category is alkene alkyne and aromatic ring in simple multiple bonds So the pi bond, it is formed by the electrons present in the p orbital. They overlap to form pi bond. So basically that is electron density, electron cloud. So that is the third category. Alkene, alkyne and aromatic ring. So benzene ring, it is basically nucleophile. It has three double bonds. Be thorough about this. There are only three type of nucleophile the first one species which has negative charge species which has lone pair of electron third one alkene alkyne and benzene and simply you can say multiple bonds now what about electrophile again there are three types first one Species with positive charge. Here you go for carbocation, just the opposite of carbanion. This is carbocation. What about the N plus? If there is N plus, what about that? Generally, N plus and O minus, O plus will not exist. Here, the students get confused with the ammonium ion and oxonium ion. Look at this, nitrogen has positive charge, oxygen has positive charge. But it is because it has lost its lone pair of electron. But in the carbocation, the bond has been lost. A covalent bond has been lost. Because of that, we get positive charge. In this, if there is any possibility to form like this, still lone pair of electron is there, then you can say this is positive. 
but in this case the n plus refers to loss of lone pair of electron so this two are not electrophile don't get confused with this similarly in the case of oxygen there are two bonds say alcohol if this has been removed you will get O plus but this is not possible the reason I will explain later it is not possible to form this similarly in nitrogen so in the case of positive charge we have only one option that is carbocation the carbocation recently they started to call carbonium ion not carbonium it is carbonium ion the second category carbon which is attached to more electronegative atom so say atom with more electronegativity so either by single bond or double bond or triple bond if it is attached with the atom which has more electronegativity then there is positive charge on this carbon and minus charge on this carbon so i have mentioned del plus and del minus because it is not completely polarized there is partial positive character for this carbon partial negative character on that atom for example I can go for this carbonyl group which is most common this oxygen atom is more electronegative than carbon so what it does pulls the electron towards this as a result this becomes del plus I can go for one more group that is nitride it is not cyanide it is nitride nitrogen is more electronegative so it pulls the electron so what we get is del plus and del minus further we'll i will explain that third one a double bond already i have mentioned it is nucleophile it has more electron density so it is nucleophile the third one it is double bond already i mentioned alkene is nucleophile but when you attach some electron withdrawing group like this then this carbon becomes positive so the carbon which is on the next carbon not this one so a carbon which is next to the electron withdrawing group will get positive charge so i i have classified the electrophile into three categories i hope you know what is electrophile basically they are electron loving that means the electron defeat electron density is very less in that it has positive charge there is a special type of species they are not electrophile not nucleophile but they are something different that is nothing but benzene what about this is it electrophile or nucleophile the second one carbene is it electrophile or nucleophile similarly nitrine basically all these things are electrophile all these species can be attacked by nucleophile 
nucleophile can attack here but after attacking what we get is another nucleophile so the this is electrophile after attacking this part has become nucleophile that is the speciality of this category basically it is electrophile it can be attacked by nucleophile after attacking what we get is nucleophile on this part then it can add with another electrophile to give like this similarly when you add nucleophile to this what we get is minus charge the same thing so that is why i have categorized this separately a special type so initially they are electrophile after attacking by nucleophile they become nucleophile so this is the third category a special type 